Welcome back. I'm Linda Kincaid. You're watching CNN Newsroom. Well, the most powerful gun lobby group in America is holding a convention in Houston, Texas, less than 500 kilometers from the site of Tuesday's massacre. Protesters have slammed the NRA for going ahead with the gathering, gathering calling it inappropriate. In some of the meetings, own participants have even pulled out. Among them, the maker of a gun used in the mass shooting and three musicians who were set to perform. Here's what one of them said. I believe that I have the right to protect myself and my family and my home, as I believe everyone does. So I'm a Second Amendment guy, unless there, you know, so there's no question about that. I just did not believe it was the right thing to do. Uh, it would have been kind of a classy move uh, on the NRA's part, and they need some good PR right now if they'd cancel the whole thing and said, hey, we're going to go in here for one big moment and say a prayer for those folks or have a moment of silence and we'll come back and do this later. CNN's Camilla Banal joins us now from Houston and, and Camilla just looking at uh, the people behind you clearly uh, the NRA is, is tone deaf to have a convention like this the same week as this massacre what are the people there telling you? Yeah, everyone is just frustrated. They're sad. Then they're angry. They say they have so many feelings, especially here in Texas, because they feel like their political leaders are not listening to them. Of course, uh, this is a, a big crowd right across the street from the convention center where uh, the NRA is holding its annual meeting. You can see the lettering, the NRA, but in between there is this park and you're seeing hundreds and hundreds of people out here with signs and you can hear them cheering, they're clapping, but they also held a moment of silence. As we speak, Beto O'Rourke, uh, the gubernatorial Democratic candidate, is here and he was essentially going over every single name, the victims in Uvalde, the children. Um, that's what they started out with, remembering every victim and that's what they say motivates that anger, that frustration that a lot of them are feeling at the moment. Um, it is very different from what you're seeing inside of the convention. Here you see uh, a lot of passion and just people demanding action from their political leaders when it comes to gun control in this country. I also talked to some of the NRA members that were coming in this morning. Some of them were saying, look, we feel horrible about what happened in Uvalde. They say they never want to see that happen, but they were very excited uh, to come to the convention here. So really opposing viewpoints. In terms of security, the Houston Police Department is taking care of everything happening outside. They said they were going to have a section for the protesters and a section for the counter protesters uh, closer to the convention center. Now, inside the venue, it's a different story because uh, the former president, Donald Trump, will be speaking. It is Secret Service that will be in charge of the security inside of the hall. And in there, no guns will be allowed. Uh, so just very different scenarios, both inside the convention center and outside of the convention center. Look, it's more than 90 degrees out here, and these people have been out here for hours. They are not giving up. They are angry, and they simply want their voices heard. Linda? Uh, and they are speaking loud and clear. Uh, we can see uh, the politician, Peter O'Rourke, uh, speaking there to the crowd. Uh, a little bit tricky for me to hear everything you're saying, but I understand you spoke to some NRA members as they arrived. So often when we hear from the NRA, they the line they give us is that a good guy with a gun will stop a bad guy with a gun. We have this massacre at a school, 19 officers at least at the start that couldn't stop this massacre. Uh, can you explain to us if they have any answers to that from those NRA members you spoke to uh, about uh, the fact that this massacre could take place in a state that has more guns than anywhere else in the U.S.? Our kids well, look, I think that everyone that you talk to has a different point of view, but I have heard a lot of them pointing to having a teacher with a gun or a police officer at a school. They have focused on securing schools. That's part of the message and even part of the statement that the NRA released earlier this week. They were pointing to one person responsible for that shooting, a criminal. They were not mentioning guns. They were not mentioning anything around gun legislation, but instead pointed to one person and 
said that their commitment was to make schools safer. Here, that has been brought up outside of the convention, where a lot of these activists say we do not want our teachers to be armed. They say this is not their job. They barely even uh, get paid to begin with, and so they say that is not the solution. Uh, so it's going to be difficult to find an issue that they both agree on, uh, but I think that both sides want their political leaders to come to the table. And part of the whole message here outside of the convention is getting people registered to vote and getting people to become involved in the sense of going out to the polls and electing the people they believe uh, will make some change. Of course, that is yet to be seen, but there is a lot of that passion here today. And of course, Camilla, we have to highlight the hypocrisy because this is an organization that wants to see guns, at least that people have the right to carry guns into supermarkets, into movie theaters, anywhere, no background check, uh, no license, yet at their own convention where the former president is speaking uh, in the next couple of hours, they're banning guns. Yeah, look, and a lot of people were calling for them to cancel the event or even postpone the event because even supporters of the NRA were saying it's not the time. It's not the time to celebrate, to get together. They haven't been together in about three years because the 2020 and 2021 conventions were canceled. So even uh, NRA supporters and members were saying, hey, let's take a minute to pause and wait, and then maybe we can reconvene and figure it out. Uh, but they went on as planned. And the there are a lot of political leaders who are still scheduled to speak, among them, of course, the former president, uh, Senator Ted Cruz, the leadership of the NRA. Uh, we have uh, some who have canceled, uh, some Republicans from the state of Texas, uh, among them uh, Senator John Cornyn of Texas, although he didn't cite the shooting and instead cited um, just the conflict of, of schedule. And so you're seeing musicians also canceling. So it's difficult to say, you know, what the NRA is thinking, but they for sure just wanted to move on and continue with this convention. And tonight's event is really one of the most important for them because this has so much political power. Camilla Bernal, good to have you there outside that NRA convention in Houston, Texas. Clearly a lot of people are turning out there to have their say. Our thanks to you. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Stay with CNN.